What's up, fellas? I'm in the middle of doing a little bit of fabrication here on some new burner designs. I know I'm just beating this thing to death, but an amazing idea came to me. We're gonna try out two different burner shapes. See, we got our uh, divergent convergent shape here. Any waste oil will come in this direction, and I'm hoping to induce a um, vortex in this area to continually ignite the flame. That's a very important feature of the elbow burner. So I'm trying to replicate that in an extremely easy square setup. This is going to be a square waste oil burner in some senses. I'm not sure what to name this yet. We're gonna do another design shape over here. You see this shape does not have the divergent, convergent nozzle. Essentially guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the burner with this high temperature glass plate to observe whether or not we get eddies in these places. And I think this is gonna be one of the coolest experiments I've ever done. Unfortunately, I do not have the high speed cameras needed to really benefit from this little test, but nonetheless, this is gonna be pretty freaking cool. I don't know how long this glass is gonna hold up, but either way, I think the whole thing's gonna be kind of neat. Yeah, I got a little carried away. Got glass all over now, but that's all good. It was for science, man. So, it's probably kind of hot. I'm not really able to see much of a swirl until I kick the flame off. When I kick the flame off, then I can see a little burn in there. So, I'm almost thinking about just go ahead and welding this bad boy together and giving it a shot. I think I should, you know what? I'm gonna post that little experiment anyway, just because that was kind of cool. Um, I did not see the swirl that I wanted to see, but then again, that doesn't mean that it wasn't there. I really should have looked at it through a thermal camera. That might not have helped much, but a waste oil burner might react a little bit differently. There's going to be a lot more fuel coming into the situation. And um, it's hard to say if I'm going to get the swirl I want or not. It's not looking good so far. It looks like I need to put some kind of secondary baffle in there. The air may be coming in this way and dropping down. and I don't know. I need to get a tumble going in here. That's my objective. When we can get that vortex of fire going, it will continually reignite the combustor. It was kind of neat to see the flame front leave the, um, the divergent in there. 
It seemed like the flame front was taking off about right there. And that was kind of cool. And I do have one more profile to test. I might just be an idiot and try it with plexiglass real quick. I think I've got a piece. try this one more time. I've now installed a um, swirl vane.
just yet, that is. We're definitely gonna ruin it. <laughs> I can assure you that. About 20 pieces, actually. So we can only get a couple seconds of footage before the uh, test stand fails. Eventually, I'm gonna weld steel plate on this, guys, and uh, we're gonna have a pretty cool little burner here. Okay, here it goes. That's what we want. That little swirl action is going to continually reignite the combustion because the velocity of the flame jet exceeds the flame front velocity of waste oil. 